Big day today, got a settlement, so follow me. Mikey, Lily, Ava, and woman. It's a deal for $400 of a joke. Just finish up here at the Bria Method, first thing we do every day. Now we're gonna head out to my house, get dressed, and uh, start this day. Big day today, got a settlement, so follow me. Mikey. You ready for school? Mikey. Lily. Ava. And woman. We gotta take a picture today, last day of school. We're gonna you compare. don't have to take any pictures. Why can't I take pictures? Just the kids. Maybe I wanna be it. <laughs> Am I allowed to take a picture of them? Is that allowed? I'm gonna peek in too. Chill. Last day of school. <laughs> last day of school. Come here, last day of school. Hey. Come here. Am I your photographer? Yes. Hold on, I'm putting on my shoes. You notice how your shoes? Can you get out? Oh. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. I did, I took a lot of pictures. Here. Did you though? Have a good day at school. Last day at school. Love you. I'll Bye. Let me know if I'm going on the bus with you. Have a good day, love you. Let me help you tie your shoe. You're not doing it the right way. No, you're not. You're just making knots. All right, let's go. All right. Don't forget your flowers today for your teachers. Lily's poems. Can I read it? I got a pack of little flowers. I got a big stack of sunflowers. And about me, Lily Bograd is a girl who cares about her family, who feels happy when she plays soccer, who needs her friends and family, and loves to see Cristiano Ronaldo. Good job, Lily. All right, then I guess I'm gonna go get my day started. I'll be uh, back in a jiffy. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, I'm out. See you, Max. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. Love you. All right, so it's 8.39. We have our first closing of the day. It's on Mill Ridge. I just got the settlement sheet. My sellers are not coming to settlement. I'm signing remotely. So I'm gonna take the HUD-1. I'm gonna sign off on it. We sold the property on Mill Ridge and Aston. We got it full price, cash as is deal. We settled today. Then my seller of that property is buying my listing on Camellia. So on both sides on Camellia in Fusterville which we sold at 840,000. Beautiful corner property. My seller moved to Tampa, so he's not gonna be at settlement, so I'm gonna sign for him. I have a closing today at a property. It's a townhouse in Bucks County. Unfortunately, it's a divorce case, and the seller and buyer are not really in speaking terms. So it was actually pretty smooth up until maybe this week. The husband decided it'd be okay to take a safe that was included in the sale of the property. So my seller decides that it's okay for him to take the safe out of the house when it's in the agreement of sale, and now I'm gonna be the one that's probably gonna have to foot the bill. Oh, f here's actually the wife calling. Hey. What's going on? Well, unfortunately, you know, he's being extremely stubborn and unrealistic and confrontational. He took the safe, which we all know. I told him he needs to reimburse the buyer. After some back and forth, he said, fine, I'll do it, but I'm not gonna give them cash, I'm not gonna give them a check, have them take it off the HUD-1. And I said, I can't take it off the HUD-1 because that's already been approved. I can't change that. I don't have the authority to do so. He knows that, Joe. Joe I, he knows that. I know he knows that. I mean, he's not an idiot. He's just playing stupid. He starts making comments like, oh, you're trying to pocket the $400. I'm like, man, I'm like, I don't need, I don't, I don't need your $400, man. I'm like, Whoa, you know, he's like, why, like yeah, he's like, why do you need cash? I'm like, I don't need cash, but the buyers don't want to take a chance of you bringing a check to closing and the check bouncing. Yeah, he's like, I'm not settling. I said, if you don't settle, you're in default. So you have until 10 o'clock to decide what you want to do. Time is ticking. He better figure this out real quick. We're at a 233 Cecilia Acres Drive. Uh, it's an estate community here in Ivyland, uh, estates of Northampton, Council Rock School District. 5,000 plus square feet, uh, three car garage, one acre lot, really nice community. Let's get this listing and uh, move on to the next closing of the day. Hello, sir. Hey, good morning. In. How are you? Good. So, the woods in Northampton, my soon to be clients, their son is friends with my son. They were getting ready for a formal, all the kids were at our house taking pictures, 
and he asked me how the market is. And I said, the market's great. Houses are selling overnight. He said, you know what, maybe I'll give you a call and we'll put the house in the market. And if we get our number, we'll sell. Well, lo and behold, the next day he called me and uh, now I'm at the house. Let's see how it goes. I want to get the most we can get. Really can't consider moving anything of being straight with like one, four, five. Okay. So why don't I quote like one, five, seven, five. Perfect. And just go from there. It's an off-market listing. It's not going in the market, at least not yet. Yeah. You're seeing it first and foremost. This is the number. You want it? Make a deal. So one, five, seven, five. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thanks again for the opportunity. No, thank I'll you. Ma I'll make it happen. Got the listing. 1.575, now let's get it sold. This deal for $400 is a joke. Hey Joe. I'm so disappointed in how things are going right now. I'm, I'm sorry. Is that the only issue, this $400 now that's lingering? Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm so sick and tired of this whole conversation and I feel bad that you guys are dealing with this. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the 400 and then uh, that'll be my gift to them because I'm aggravated and tired okay yeah just send it to brett and i appreciate it thanks joe i'm sorry this is happening too no it's okay I'm we'll get it figured out told you guess who's getting the bill me i want to get my wallet too i need that where's my wallet where's my money oh <gasps> leave my money at home are you fucking kidding me <laughs> yeah are you home yeah do you have my wallet still yep I'm going home, bye. My arm just leg is killing me. Okay, I'll take her this one. All right, let's rock and roll. Does she drink tequila or wine? She drinks vodka. She drinks vodka? I need to give her a bottle of wine because I have no vodka in the house. I got my bottle of wine for my client. We're on to the next closing. We're here at Parry Way Townhouse Community. We put the deposit over a year ago. We're finally making settlement today. Let's go inside. Another townhouse at the Reserve at Spring Mill, sold moments ago. Congratulations to my clients. Gentlemen, number two done. Let's go to number three. We have another closing check and lockbox. All the girls have been yelling at me because I'm taking all the lockboxes. So now we have a surplus of lockboxes. I'm gonna drop off this check to my bookkeeper and then the next settlement should be beginning momentarily on 26 Keith, which is a listing I sold in Dutchess Farm Estates. And not only did I get them their asking price, but I got them 25,000 over their asking. So I got them 1.8 million and it turned into a cash deal and we're settling in about uh, 10 minutes. I'm gonna be a little bit late. Let's uh, go visit the office and get that one wrapped up. The sellers are in Boston, so I'm signing for them. The buyers are already signed remotely, 1.8 million. So I'm really excited for this closing. Uh, let's get things done right now, and we're done. Let's bring on the next closing, let's go. So Keith Lane uh, sold over asking price, cash deal as is. The sellers moved to Boston, so I'm signing for him. I'm not sure what you guys are, you like to drink, so get you some wine, hey. got you some vodka, hey. and I got you some sweatshirts. Hey. T-shirts too, you want some t-shirts? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I got some hats for you too. I'm gonna to tell people about you, I'm serious. I appreciate it. I got a big church. You didn't even, I appreciate you even it. looked at it on Facebook. I did. You did? Yeah. Okay. I have to start liking it though, right? Some beach balls for the pool. Got him a hat. And t-shirts, 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 t-shirts. All right. I got you some beach balls too. Hey, man. All right. Wonderful. We're good. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Man. My pleasure. Thank you, thank you. you guys been taking a picture of me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you got, hold it. And you got to give me your watch guy. Uh, I'm going to do it right now. Is that anything? Yes. But well, you got a collection nicer than mine, I think. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I think you were telling me your collection last time. I got a collection, but you got, a, uh, you got a better collection. When I originally listed his house, he took notice of my watch, and uh, we got into talking about watches back and forth during the course of the transaction. Well, now we're closed, and I think he has some ideas on what he wants to buy next. So, Roman, stay tuned, I think he's coming your way. So, like I said before, all these closings lately have been done remotely. So my client is actually en route, already driving to Florida. Uh, I have power of attorney, I'm gonna sign the closing disclosures right now for him, and his funds are gonna be wired for his purchase. He's buying a house in uh, Florida. I'm really excited for Bill, next chapter. His daughter actually moved to Florida a few years ago and uh, now he's gonna join her down in Florida and uh, enjoy retirement, so 
Congratulations to Bill of uh, 805 Churchill Road. You are now homeless in Pennsylvania. Christine speaking. Hey, Christine, Joe Bogret, how are you? Good, so I'm thinking, do you want me to just sign off on the settlement sheets now so everything's ready to go for the 3 o'clock tr- closing? Um, Todd already signed them. Oh, so Todd already signed everything? Yes. Ah, so I don't have to sign. Th- okay, then it makes my life even easier. Okay, so then we're done. So we're just waiting for the 3 o'clock closing yeah. to happen, and then you're just going to check, uh, yeah. send checks uh, accordingly. And correct. All right, then we're done. I appreciate it. Okay, sure. All right, yep. take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Done and done. Last closing of the day. I'm heading home for a tall glass of wine. We're done for the day, a day in the life. Uh, I'm exhausted. So I think I'm gonna call it quits early today and I'm gonna head home. Thanks for joining me. Follow the Bogret team. Have a good day.